Hello, I'm Zardus, and let's play Planet Zoo. Welcome back to Zarzu. This will be episode 19 in the series, and we are going to uh, pick up right where we left off in terms of getting the safari habitats up and running. We're going to start with the uh, African wild dogs, and they're going to go over in here. And let's go ahead, and we want to see what they need, first of all. African wild dog, they belong in grassland... And yeah, I mean, it should be pretty simple here. Can get quite a few, lots of males and some females. So let's go ahead and get some. Okay, they should be on their way here. And let's just make sure that we have both of these habitats in the work zone. one and oh we didn't get a wall for that one yet okay but we're gonna come over here and we're going to make sure this is called the wild dogs habitat okay and let's go ahead and unpause it so that the animals can be delivered and in the meantime we're going to get some of this taken out and then we will start to arrange things so I want to make sure let's see here we want to come in here and get the filter on that we need okay we're going to need some hard shelter and we're going to have ride is going to come along this way I think what we'll do is we'll get a shelter back over here and I want, we're going to use this African medium hard shelter. This is from the workshop. I think I've covered it already. We'll get one of these and we'll get two actually. Like that. And this will be kind of the basic spot. Now we have, okay, looks like they got fed. We had an animal that was not doing quite so well, but that's fine. Okay, so the wild dogs should be on their way. Yeah, they're all being relocated here. Should get here soon. Then, let's get some a food tray somewhere around here. So that they can have basic stuff here and a water pipe by each of these. Like that, Whoop. like that, okay. We've been having so much trouble with these hyenas. I don't know why they are getting here injured, but I don't know. We'll deal with it. I guess but it is just what it is. Okay, now we're just going to modify the train a little bit more here. I want to get a little bit of a hill here. Especially because then we might get them up in a way that the train can see them. There, now when the train is coming by, which by the way, do we have this turned off still? No, it's on, okay. Turn it off at one point. Yeah, if the train goes by, they'll get a good view of that. Same thing there, okay. And they've got water coming in here. Probably could get a little bit more water. Yeah, we could get another little water feature there. There we go. Okay, and we had one arrive, so we can come over here and use them for our terrain purposes. So we need more short grass. Very good. Now we're going to get a little bit of soil around 
the water thing here. And then more inside here as well. They actually want more hard shelter too. So what we're going to do is we'll get a little cave down in here, I think. That should work. And then we'll get some rocks around that too. All right, let's come in here and we're just going to duplicate this. For which, ah, and the animal died. Another one of these has died. I mean, I guess the other ones weren't from, or like they weren't wild dogs, they were other animals, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna come in here and we're going to grab this. going to put it over here I don't know why they keep having some depths but hopefully that will be the extent of it here well okay we've got the hard shelter we've got the terrain Let's go ahead and get some enrichment in place here. I can always come back and replace the dead animals. All right, now there's plenty of things for them to play with. They should be happy. Let's get some plants in here. Then we'll be done with this habitat. Okay, so that should have the terrain that we need. And that should get all of them pretty happy, I would think. So this habitat should be in good shape. Let's move on to the next one. So this is going to be the safari as a whole. And we are going to have uh, spring box, African elephants, and let me mark here. Okay, Nile monitors, common warthog, sable antelope, common ostrich, African buffalo, plains zebra, reticulated giraffes, black wildebeests, Thompson's gazelles, African elephants, and springboks. So we are going to have a ton of stuff in here. And in fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and open this uh, safari ride. So we should get some people coming back here eventually. At the very least, we should see the thing going around. And we can go ahead and get some animals started here. So we'll start with the spring box and we can have quite a few of them. Let's see what they want. Oh, you know what? We need to, we have to get the gate in. Actually, we're not ready to do this yet. We need to close this. Because we need to get a fence in. Okay, so we want, the elephant is grade four. 6.6 .6 feet. We can pause here. Uh, let's see what else goes in here. Okay, so we want a grade four sips by six feet. Or sips point hmm, six feet, which I think might be the height that we have over here. And grade four, we are going to do an electric one here. So actually, we need to come in here. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna come here. 
eventually. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna come here. We're gonna have this here and two meters, I think is gonna be good. Let's go up just a little bit more though because we're, it's an electric fence anyway. We'll go up to three. And yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this here. So actually, Okay, so now we've got that track set on this side. Let's go ahead and finish the barrier, and then we'll get the track set on this side as well. Okay, now we can go ahead and open this. That is all set up and then we can go ahead and get some animals in here. So like I said, we're going to go with spring bots first. Actually, no, we will go, I have them in different order now, African Buffalo. Alphabetical. Uh, and how many do we need of those? Let's see. And of course, we need to have a habitat need, don't we? So let's go ahead and get that out here. Now we should be able to get these delivered. And this is going to be called Safari. Let's make sure it is in our work zone. Okay, and let's go ahead and unpause. So we have those coming. And let's go ahead and just start decorating this. So these go in the desert, actually. So let's get them over here. I believe this one is a little bit of a desert. Yeah, they like that. We'll get a few of the, I mean, we have a few of these in here. I think the Gemsbach are the only ones that like this biome, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to make sure that we had at least one desert thing in here. Yeah, that's it. The train is getting too close to one of the facilities again. At some point, I should go in and move that, but I don't know when I will. So now these can all be deleted. And that. Now, the next thing. This is tropical, so it actually should not go in here either. Tropical ones should go over in here. So now, what do we have left? This is grassland, perfect. Okay, so we are going to get some of these in place. Okay, but 
wild buffalo have already African buffalo have arrived. I'm going to get this shelter here first of all. But let's use the buffalo to get kind of our terrain in place. So we need more terrain, yeah. That is the terrain. Let's go ahead and get rid of this ash tree. These beech trees. Okay, now let's go ahead and get what they need first of all. Okay, so that should be all, well, actually, I know we need food and water too, and stuff like that. Let's get a large trough, and they shouldn't need a water trough, but we'll get them one anyway. Oh well, no, because then we have to refill it. Let's get some large beds in this shelter, though. Okay, that should be everything they need. Now let's get some more of the other animals real quick. waiting. Actually, there's the only way we can have them be seen. We don't have any lookout points. We just have the safari ride. And I think I kind of like it that way. Yeah. I mean, I suppose what we could do is we could have... We could bring a path up over here and maybe get a lookout over here. Yeah. Let's do that, I guess. We have to wait for stuff to come in anywhere, like people to deliver our animals here. So yeah, that can be a lookout point. Come here and you can see pretty well from here. Yeah, I like that. Then we just have to figure out how to get power over there so that we can get a sign. Ah, perfect. We're already in there. So get those. There. I mean, we're going to have so many animals in here that we might not be able to have all the education boards there. Also, where are the elephants? How come they haven't been delivered yet? Everything is in transit, but we have so many animals. Or like, yeah, so many animals. Let's go ahead and speed this up. So hopefully I can get more in here in this episode. Here comes one. We're going to need to get more plant coverage in here too. I think this might end up being a three-part build because I'm going to have to get all the animals in here. Look at all the elephants who we just delivered like all at once here. They need some enrichment. So what can we get for them? Ok, 
Okay, so terrain is good. Maybe more hard shelter though. So let's get another one of these somewhere. Go over in here. So they are in good shape. Now we should have black wildebeests in here. Let's double check that. We need more food enrichment. I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff. This is gonna be a really difficult uh, safari or like habitat to deal with. But it's going to have a ton of animals that are going to be very happy. All right. And of course, now this safari ride can't go anywhere because there's animals in the way. But that's all right. We can come in here and we can actually get multiple. Oh, uh, let's see here. Number of cars. We want more. There we go eight cars on this ride but i think that is where we will leave it today so we are making progress on this area and i mean i want to get more foliage out in here but i want to fill it with the with all of the animals first so i think we're going to have at least one more episode uh or one more part in this part of the africa area in terms of building all of this and then we'll move on to other spots but anyway that is it for today thanks for watching and i will catch you next time take care